Hi, I'm Randy Bias. I'm the CTO and co-founder of CloudScaling. So, for our readers who may not be familiar with you guys already, why don't you tell us a little bit about CloudScaling and what it does? CloudScaling is uh, the world's most advanced uh, version of OpenStack. We essentially have a production-grade version of OpenStack that allows you to have your own infrastructure as a service behind the firewall for building a private or hybrid cloud. It's really designed to have as much resiliency and fault tolerance as possible while also being more compatible with Amazon Web Services than any other solution out there. So the focus on compatibility with Amazon is a little bit different from what some of the OpenStack providers may be looking at. Uh, tell us a little bit about that and then why that's a focus for cloud scaling. So what we've seen with our customers is that you know they're all looking at the public cloud. They want to understand what their options are there, whether it's today, tomorrow, or sometime far in the future. And they really want to make sure that they're future-proofing themselves um, in that regard. And so. When you think about it, Amazon's really the 800-pound gorilla, maybe Google Compute Engine right behind them, um, and there's probably not room for a lot of other major players. So we really fundamentally believe that people want a private and hybrid cloud, and that's what we're seeing in the market, that's compatible with the system so that they can interconnect them. Because it's not, it's not simple enough to just build a virtual machine on demand system. You actually need something that's architecturally compatible with Amazon if you want to be able to take your apps and run them on your private cloud and move them out to your public cloud or take them off the public cloud and move them on to your private cloud. There's that, that deep level of compatibility just isn't there uh, with most of, the, most of the solutions you can get on the market today. Uh, so the open stock market is, uh, we're seeing some more players, some some other companies uh, adopting it. It's getting a little busier. Uh, how do you uh, how do you see the the OpenStack market uh, differentiating, uh, and how does uh, cloud scaling position itself versus some of the other providers out there? So we don't we don't really see. We are an OpenStack based product. We are an active part of the community, but we don't really see ourselves as being part of the OpenStack market. We see ourselves as being part of the private cloud market, the greater private cloud market. And when people are looking at private cloud solutions, they're looking at you know VMware for sort of that classic enterprise virtualization 2.0 kind of approach, which we think has a place. And you know VMware VCE VBlock type solutions make sense when you're trying to do things around server consolidation. But a lot more businesses are finding out that they actually need to have more of a scale out model, and what we call an elastic cloud that looks more like Amazon Web Services because they're not trying to do server consolidation; they're trying to decrease time to market and improve the the life of their developers essentially to allow them to get solutions to market faster in order to um, to just move in a more agile fashion and that's different than saving money that's sort of you know ROI generate or revenue generation versus sort of like uh, server consolidation right um, and so our focus in, which is different than the rest of the, the OpenStack community is on Amazon Web Services compatibility that's fundamentally different. And then we're adding production grade um, capabilities to the system, which we think is different. And then the last thing there is that um, we believe we're a next generation systems company, which has to provide the customer with a whole bunch of hardware management tools that aren't normally found in most of these solutions so that you can get the same economies of scale that Amazon actually has. So you've got a lot of background in data center infrastructure. Yep. How does that tie into the way you've approached cloud scaling and the way you look at integrating software, hardware? Yeah, so um, if you look at Google and Amazon and Facebook and Twitter and all the web scale guys, they actually don't build a server at a time. They build a pod at a time or a cluster at a time. Um, and what that means is that they're thinking about kind of how to modularize their system so that they can build it in, in chunks, reproducible chunks, you know, rack at a time, triplet racks in the case of Facebook at a time, containers at a time sometimes. And so we've tried to bring that functionality into our product. We have something called the Cloud Blocks architecture, which allows you to think about your infrastructure in these reproducible modular chunks, like Lego building bricks for actually building out the hardware and putting the software on that hardware. And that's fundamentally different because when you think about data centers, Data centers are funny, they're one of the things that you can't abstract, and they have a direct impact on the overall architecture of your system in terms of the heating, cooling capacity, the physical layout, and all these other things, right? In Tokyo, you might need very high density racks because space is a premium. In other markets, you actually need lower density racks because power is at a premium. And so you actually have to have some way to sort of chunk up your hardware and think about it in this Lego bricks model. So with Cloud Scaling's product, Open Cloud System, we have this Cloud Blocks architecture that reproduces the way the web scale guys build their um, architectures in chunks at a time and allows customers to think about and manage those chunks in the same way. So 
going forward? What are the, the, the next uh, key steps for cloud scaling and, and what's in the, in the pipeline that you think is you know, important? So um, our focus has been on Amazon Web Services compatibility and we're doing some great stuff there. We're later this summer we're launching our virtual private cloud product which is an optional commercial add-on to our open source software, open cloud system, and virtual private cloud will faithfully reproduce Amazon Web Services virtual private cloud capability. And so that'll really allow you to run not just these next generation, more dynamic scale-out DevOps related applications, but also existing legacy enterprise applications that are maybe dev test or non-production that you want to run on cheaper infrastructure. So that'll give our customers op more options for workloads to run on the system. And then the next thing that we're going to be focused on after that is Google Compute Engine compatibility because we're, they're the number two in the market and we feel that it's very important to have not only Amazon Web Services compatibility but deep Google Compute Engine comp uh, compatibility so that customers have as much choice as possible. They can deploy their own secure private uh, region or zone of a cloud and make it just look like an adjunct of Amazon or an adjunct of Google Compute Engine. Okay, Randy, listen, thanks for so much for taking some time to talk to us about cloud scaling and catch us up. Thank you.